So here we have another Mercedes-Benz E500. This car is in very good condition and it comes in tanzanite blue with black leather interior. This particular car is an avant-garde, so it's got the nice big five-spoke alloy wheels. And it's got the sportier interior. It also has navigation, front and rear parking sensors, and memory electric seats. The E500 came with an adjustable suspension so you can press a sport button basically and stiffen up the suspension or at the touch of a button the car can go up by a few centimetres. It's done 149,000 kilometres which is absolutely nothing for a V8 Mercedes-Benz. I have driven it and it drives absolutely beautifully. It's got a very good V8 sound to it. And as you can see for a dark coloured car it's been very well looked after. The parking sensors are factory. They were still an option in 2003 and some people did not get it as an option. They bought aftermarket sensors which unfortunately by now probably wouldn't be working. I can't see any dents or scratches on this car whatsoever. The 500 also had climate control air conditioning in the back. Now I think this is the first E500 in Tanzanite blue we've had. It's a very nice colour and it's one of those colours I always remember. It's got a six stack of CD, navigation and it's got the five litre V8 with a five speed gearbox. Both very reliable. We've just sold another E500 and um, we've had them with 50,000 kilometres, we've had them with 250,000 kilometres and everything in between. We recently sold an E320 from the same year, 2003 with 296,000 kilometres and that drove absolutely beautifully. So this has a very long life ahead of it. And they really are incredible value for money. When you consider an E500 in an avant-garde was about $160,000 plus when it was new it represents excellent value and the good thing about Mercedes-Benz is they're also very reliable and once they get to, to this price range you know around the twenty thousand dollar mark they do tend to hold their value if you look in the paper you'll find Mercedes from the 70s 80s and 90s still asking big money but if you're looking for an E-Class Mercedes, if you've been looking at 320s and you haven't had a drive of an E500, I would suggest coming in and having a look at this car and taking it for a drive. The fuel consumption is not all that different to a 320. And although brand new, there's probably an extra thirty dollars or $40,000 second hand, it's quite literally a few thousand dollars difference. but it's been very well looked after. I have driven it. It was a very impressive car to drive. And it's a car we're very happy to offer at the Old Timer Centre. It's just had a quick wash. It's original Continental tyre, nice big battery. And overall, I think, it's a very impressive car. Thank you so much for watching our video today and we look forward to hearing from you.